Recycle both front and back pockets from your slightly worn jeans to create fun denim pocket pot holders and mitts. These pot holders or mitts are fast to sew and are a fun addition to your kitchen or for the grill master. Here are some helpful notions for creating the denim pocket pot holders and mitts. Use a variety of great denim blue air fill thread pack. It it's great for the construction part of the pot holders. I team it up with the jean needles, size 100. Also, we have a great variety of jean thread. It's great for top stitching on the pot holders. I will team it up with the top stitching needle, size 100. The next tool I'm going to be showcasing is the Get Square Ruler. It's an eight and a half inch square and it's really helpful for finding the center of a really cute novelty print fabric. Then I will be using the presser foot spacers. They are very helpful for helping the sewing machine get over different thicknesses of denim. I will also use the bamboo point creaser for turning corners. I will use the surgical seam ripper to rip jeans apart. Then I will use the seam fix set. It helps to kind of remove the stitches. For clipping thick areas together, I like to use the Wonder Cli Clips. Then we have the fun fabrics that we need to work with. Of course, a pair of jeans that need to be recycled. We have the quilted iron quick that teams up with the no shift batting. The two of them will give me added protection from the heat. Also, we have some really fun novelty print fabrics. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do to create the denim pocket pot holders is to deconstruct a pair of jeans. I am using the surgical seam ripper. It has a curved edge and right within this curved area is a very sharp blade, so be very careful. I am sliding it between the seam and basically it is cutting all of my th seam threads. After I have it uh, deconstructed, I like to use the seam fix set. It basically has the a seam ripper on the inside, but I'm using this portion. It kind of helps remove the stitches of the, of the jeans. It just kind of erases them and helps to pull them out. Next, we'll review the yardages. Here are the fabrics that you will need to construct the denim pocket pot holders. Of course, one recycled pair of jeans, a third of a yard of your favorite novelty print, a third of a yard of the quilted iron quick, and then one yard of the no shift batting. Here are the steps to create the denim pocket pot holder mitt. I'm going to just create the pattern at this moment. Here you can see that this is a front portion of a pair of jeans. The jeans have been totally deconstructed on the side seam and inseam. On the reverse side, we have a wonderful novelty print that has been quilted. So here we have the front portion of our jeans with the pocket lining facing up. And I simply use a ruler and add and draw a line one inch beyond the pocket lining on the side as well as on the bottom. Then I cut on those lines and this becomes my pattern. Here I have a pair a pocket section cut out and I'm going to layer the quilted iron quick with the silver side facing up and the no shift batting. Simply cut those portions out and next I'll show you how to create the novelty print fabric portion. Again the novelty fabric is quilted on the back side and it has to be treated a little differently than the other portions. Again, this was my original pattern and I had cut out a layer of the quilted iron quick and the no slip batting. I am going to layer the novelty fabric underneath, but it's going to extend one inch beyond the top of the pocket. And again, I'm layering the silver portion of the iron quick to the wrong side of the novelty print. 
notice that the grid line on the quilted iron quick is perfect for my stitching line. I am going to quilt those two layers together. Again, my novelty fabric is extending one inch beyond the top of the pocket. Now I'm going to simply lay my no slip batting over the top and this will give me another added layer for protection. This sample shows that I have basted those layers together and this is how it looks. Now I'm going to be adding it to my pocket and we'll stitch the outer edges. Here are some additional tips before sewing the denim pocket potholder mitt together. Again, the quilting portion of the novelty fabric has been completed. I'm going to stack my pocket, denim pocket portion over the quilted section. Again, the one inch extension is at the top, folded over the denim portion. I will then set up my machine for a straight stitch and I will use the denim blue air fill thread teamed up with the 100 jean needle. I will stitch the outer edges and the bottom portion. On this sample those stitches have been completed. I will trim the corner and again unfold this top edge and I'm going to sneak into the pocket to turn it right side out. This sample has been turned right side out. I will use the bamboo point increaser and insert it into the pocket portion just to pop out the corner. We're going to just kind of poke it out there, get a nice, nice corner. Again, at the top of the pocket, I'm going to clip with my Wonder Clips and the next step is to iron the edges and edge stitch. In my machine I have a hundred top stitch needle. It has a thicker shank to accommodate the denim and the jean thread. Behind my foot I have a presser foot spacer. It comes in different thicknesses to accommodate the different thicknesses of denim that may occur when you're sewing. So now I'm going to simply Remove the spacers and start sewing. Lengthen your stitch length, sew slowly. Now the presser foot spacer will move out of the way, simply remove it and continue sewing. I will approach different thicknesses of my denim, so I'm going to use a different thickness of the presser foot spacer. Insert in front of the foot and continue sewing through the slot. This keeps my foot level and it prevents skip stitches. Continue sewing slowly, edge stitching all the way around all four sides of your denim pocket potholder mitt. Here are some cutting tips for the denim pocket potholders. Again, they're really cute. They have the denim pocket on the front and a quilted novelty fabric on the back side. Notice that I have binding and belt loops at the top, but I will give you the cutting instructions. I'm using a great product, Get Square Ruler. It helps me to center over the novelty print and get it exactly where I would like it to be centered within my square. I'm going to trim around all four sides and I'm using a rotary mat that's perfect for cutting squares. After, all the, after completing the square, I also like to use it, the get square for cutting out the denim pocket and cutting out the quilted iron quick and no shift batting. Next I'll show you how to layer them. After the cutting is completed, next we layer. I'm going to layer the quilted iron quick silver side down on the wrong side of the novelty fabric. Follow the grid line for my stitching line to quilt all of the layers together. After the quilting is completed, lay the no slip batting on top, then the pocket. This sample shows that I have clipped all of the edges together. Next I will baste and bind the edges. Here are some binding options. 
Cut two and a half inch strips from your recycled jeans or use cotton binding as an option. Here, this showcases that we have used the denim as our trim. Use your favorite binding techniques and I will show you how to top stitch the binding in place. In my machine, I have a hundred top stitch needle. It has a thicker shank to accommodate the denim and the jean thread. The jean thread is threaded through the needle and wound in the bobbin. So now we're going to simply start sewing to attach our binding. Lengthen your stitch length to a 3.0 and stitch slowly. Continue stitching until you have stitched around all four sides of the denim pocket pot holder. Start right now. Upcycle your jeans into denim pocket pot holders and mitts. Choose your favorite novelty fabric for additional flair and have fun.